What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Savage Land. Welcome back to another episode of Palette Picks. And today on Palette Picks, we got a special guest. We got the Miss She-Hawk. I almost said sensational She-Hawk, but that's that's basically what this is. Um, I received a huge haul of Marvel Legends today, mostly X-Men, and we had this girl uh, in the bin with BBTS, and I put something up on Instagram, and, and it says, you can tell where my heart is, and basically my heart is at, at Marvel Legends right now, man. Um, my power loop been sitting up for two months, and I received a lot of good Marvel Legends, all like top 10. I had I received the Wolverine and Sabretooth 2-pack, Cable. Uh, this She-Hulk today, and what else did I get? Oh, Angel, Archangel, which was all phenomenal figures, man. But the one I was most anticipating was this girl right here, She-Hulk, out of the Iron Man Retro Wave. Beautiful card back, uh, beautiful figure. I won't make this long because this is not uh, not too much to say about her, man, because it doesn't too much come with her, but she is a great action figure. And for my man on Instagram, Swift Shot Autobot, Swift Shot the Autobot, um, I was probably gonna do a review on her anyway, because like I said, out of all those figures, this was the one I was most anticipating. And she is a great female figure. She is a great Marvel Legends and Swift Shot. Um, you was wondering if she can stand. She can. I haven't really put her into action action, but as far as we know with most Marvel Legend female figures, they cannot stand. Uh, this girl definitely can. She's basically built like a male action figure. But let's go in and just talk about it right quick and just talk about the, the pluses and the negatives about her, which are not too many, just some few things I thought they probably could have added in with her. All right, first off, let's start at the face scope. Face scope and head scope, Mac. Magnificent. As you can see here, she has like a green wash in the, over the black hair, but it is just beautiful. Lately, uh, Marvel Legends been doing some real, real beautiful uh, women face sculpts, and this one right here is a top tier one. This is sensational She-Hulk right here, and a lot of people, um, I guess, I guess when they was looking at that show that came out on Disney Plus. I don't know if they were expecting a savage She-Hulk, but that was sensational She-Hulk. Like, I, I have those comic books um, from back in the day, and that was more of a comical thing. I actually kind of liked that show a little bit. I mean, was it fire? I wouldn't necessarily say it was the greatest thing I ever watched in the world, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't horrible either um, on any uh, degree, man. And when I uh, think of that show, I think of this action figure right here. And when she turned into the Hulk on that show, she was very pretty, actually kind of turned me on a little bit but this uh this figure right here the face sculpt on it is beautiful and as you can see she's got the double jointed arms nice biceps triceps i mean she is built i don't have power princess but just like everybody else i thought that this figure um was going to be a rehash of power princess but it is not it's i've seen other reviews it's totally a different figure and i will say this once you break this figure out of package um you'll notice well not out of package when you first see it you'll notice like how big it is like she's a big girl very tall not too much girthy but she has the right build in the right place uh right places and as you can see here she has an abdominal cut she doesn't have the upgraded female uh, body with the abdominal cut and the ab crunch, but the abdominal cut works pretty good. She can bend forward um, quite a bit, but backwards is almost a no-no, and that's because of the hair scope. The hair scope is one thing um, that is like, what are you going to do about it? But it also prevents her from really moving her head. The only way they could have got around that is they should have put an extra head scope in there with her having a ponytail, even though most time I think of She-Hulk, I think of her with her hair flared out uh, like that. And you can see it through the camera. I mean, the, the hair is freaking beautiful. I would never ever change that. But the only way to fix that mobility in the head and neck area is to probably have that hair pulled back and give give her an extra head scope. So I think they dropped the ball uh, with that, um, with not giving her the extra head scope. So you can get the full playability out of your action figure. That's the only reason I'm saying it. But as you can see here, she's got the sculpted abs. This is a classic uh, She-Hulk um, uniform, which I'm used to seeing her in of course the other one is the fantastic four and then and with sensational she hawk she was always dressed up in different things like you could turn this into a bikini a two-piece whatever you want because it's really just painted on over her body scope man but you know they're definitely gonna do that as you can go down she's got the thigh cut double jointed uh legs i never noticed the the 
discoloration, but you can see it through the camera. Well, I can see it through the camera as far as her kneecaps, but she's so bright green. Like, it doesn't bother me. I, I never noticed it until I was made to notice it, you know? So it wasn't a thing I've seen. I've seen the different caps, kneecaps, and the elbows on different action figures, and I, like, I could tell in a shot, like, yeah, that's different color, but I could never tell until it was pointed out to me. Of course, she doesn't have a uh, boot cut, or does she? I'm lying. She does have a boot cut. I am sorry. It was just the paint was like painted on so good. I just I, I, I couldn't see it, man. They they did a good job hiding it. And it's in the right place. I, I guess it's at the top of the boot, or maybe that's some boot with some socks <laughs> coming out the top. Uh, but she does have a definitely have a boot cut, which is great, especially for posing. Um, as you can see here, sitting flat footed, so swift shot. She does stand. She doesn't have a problem standing. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to get her in full action. But we will see here. But pretty much great articulation. Same articulation as a male minus the ab crunch. Um, like I said, I really wish um, that they that they could put an ab crunch, crunch on it. And I really wish that it had a, a different head scope so you can get that full neck mobility. This accessory here in hands is the only other thing she comes with. Um... Which is pretty cool, bent up gun, but as soon as I saw that, I was like, well shit, she could have did that with a G.I. Joe classified weapon, and you will have no problem. But, hey, just look at it now. She has plenty of guns she can bend like that. Just definitely go inside your G.I. Joe classified weapons bin and pull out any one of them, and they'll all bend up just like this gun here. But it's cute. And it's the only other hand she got, which is kind of like some, uh, wouldn't it say it's like gripping hands, but almost like a grappling hands. But they're soft and pliable, so you can kind of almost do it anything you want with her but of course she hawk meets fists gripping hands like this but what will also to took this figure over the edge multiple hands she needed at least like three different more expressive hands because uh she hawk in this iteration always in my eyes is always like a funny comical character but it would have been dope just because you're missing that neck articulation from the hair to have more expressive hand thing like a peace sign pointing fingers that would have looked really really dope uh, with her and that would have went a long way so the only negatives i could say about this figure is it should have had an extra head scope and multiple pairs of hands being that she didn't come with too much like they could have threw some weights in but i, I don't even care about that i, I think i would have rather took the different sets of hands uh with her for more expression than like some weights or something you know typical that'll come with her because we have plenty of 112 scale weights that we could find all right so now it's time to have a little fun here's she hawk with some of her counterparts that you would mostly see her with here's her her with her cousin bruce uh which is this is the uh immortal hawk uh for diamond select or marvel select which in in the form of 112 scale uh, action figures as far as a hawk this is the size I want my Hulk to be. Here's she Hulk here with the best Johnny Blaze in thing. That is the Walgreens version. Uh, we got, she's known for being in Fantastic Four and I'm pretty sure they're gonna put her in this suit, but these figures, uh, the Johnny Blaze and the thing are like, now like six years old, still the best thing. All that wash and the rock and the Johnny Blaze with the different hues of orange and red for fire and she looks great up with these guys also. Damn! <laughs> and here she is with Captain America as she balances scrap iron over her head. So she's definitely a strong uh, figure who can stand on her own and, as you can see, hold other uh, people in the air as she's on a round table. Took a little bit of time to balance, but you see she's holding it. I've, I've, I've been sitting here talking for about the past 30 seconds as she spin around. No sticky tack or anything like that. She's on her feet, man, and she looks good, man. She looks good uh, with Cap essential cap 20 years anniversary cap and this is essential uh she hawk um she also could have really really extra benefited from uh, a butterfly joint too but missing that butterfly joint extra hands and an extra head scope she still is the shiznit and here she is with some other marvel legends women um especially avengers uh i think lately marvel legends have knocked their women out of the park let's give a round of applause for that this is some really really good stuff the women are going to be looking like this uh from marvel legends with the great face sculpts that they've came out with man then i'm all for it. janet van dyne looks good 
Jennifer looks good. Uh, Natasha looks good, which is Black Widow. And uh, Natasha comes with three different head sculpts. She has the most updated body. But even these other two, without that updated body, they at least have the double jointed arms and their face sculpts are all phenomenal and they look good together i'm glad the mcu is failing right now because marvel legends has poured more into their comic characters which is awesome at the end of the day she hawk is a big fine woman and only real g's like roadblock can handle a woman like that he ain't doing nothing spitting a little bit of game in it with some chicken and bread p-i-m-p Ology. but <laughs> the reason why i did this is because uh as you can see here she's like leaning over and she's bigger than Roblox, just to kind of give you the size of it. And Roblox's a big G.I. Joe. Like, she's tilted over a little bit, man. But uh, she's a great action figure. There's nothing else to say about her, man. She fits in right. There's a few things, like I said, that could have came with her, like extra heads, extra head scope. And she could have benefited from a butterfly joint. But with minus all those things, great action figure. I think this figure right here will be uh, goaded. I think this figure right here will turn into a grail if it dries up. So if you're having any debates about She-Hulk, definitely, definitely uh, pick her up. She's a great action figure, 25 bucks. I mean, eye candy, shelf candy, shelf presence, and a good action figure, and a good female action figure at that. And she can stand up. Uh, but other than that, man, we're going to call it on that. We do this for the love and beauty of beautiful Marvel Legends women action figures. Beautiful She-Hulk. Sensational She-Hulk. Like, jumped off the comic book page, man. And if you can, give me a like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up on my Instagram, at Geppetto910. And with that being said, until the next time. God bless Roblox, you player.